The Cochico Challenge Half Marathon Race Course is a USA track and field certified course. The half marathon and relay starts on Central Avenue in Dover, New Hampshire in front of the main entrance to the First Parish Church. Note that runners will be running with the flow of traffic, that is, on the right side of the roadways for most of the race course, unless otherwise directed by the Dover Police. Even though this is contrary to what most runners do when they are training by themselves, this is the safest place for runners to be during the event, according to the Dover Police Department. From Central Avenue, runners will make an immediate right turn on Silver Street, and then a right turn onto Arch Street. Due to ongoing reconstruction of Silver Street by the City of Dover, it was not possible to record this first part of the race on Silver Street, which is virtually flat. At the end of Arch Street, runners will turn left onto Washington Street, will encounter a slight downhill at Prospect Street, and just before Taylor Street, will cross the one mile mark, which is the start of this video. Continuing on Washington Street, after Taylor on the left, and after 4th Street, which comes in on the right, there is a slight uphill. At about mile 1.5, the intersection with Whittier Street, runners will bear left onto Toland Road and cross over the Spalling Turnpike. Here is where we leave city streets and start along about 7.5 miles of scenic rural streets. Mile number two comes up on Toland at the intersection with Columbus Avenue on the left. Runners will stay on Toland Road, which is a series of short, slight uphills, short, slight downhills, with extended flat sections for just under three miles. Water station number one is at about mile 2.75, at the entrance to the Willow Housing Development on the right. Continuing on Tolden Road, the next landmark is Watson Road at about mile 3.1 on the right. Next mile is very flat with a right turn at mile 4.4 onto Glen Hill Road. Runners will cross the five mile marker on Glen Hill Road just before the next turn which is a right onto Covered Bridge Lane. This is the location of the second water station. The next part of the course will seem like a cross-country path. Covered Bridge Lane is paved for about the first two-tenths of a mile, then it turns to a gravel road descending to the footbridge that crosses the Cochico River. There are some ruts in the gravel roadway and the bridge is narrow, so runners need to be cautious about this part of the race. Course. After crossing the bridge, runners ascend on a better gravel surface to once again meet paved roadway. Runners will see the Riverside Rest Home on the right and the Hyder Family Hospice House on the left as you approach the intersections of County Farm and County Farm Crossroads. Runners will turn left on County Farm Crossroad. This is at about mile 5.5. Continuing on County Farm Crossroad, runners will bear left at Cornerstone Drive. Mile number six is ahead on this all flat section of road.
runners approach the intersection with upper 6th street, the road slopes down slightly until the intersection when runners turn right onto 6th street. At this corner, we will be staging the transition for the two-person relay. This is mile 6.9. We will have both water and porta potty available for all runners behind this building on the corner. The individual half marathon runners and the second legs of the relay will continue down 6th Street. Street is flat until about mile 7.4, where it gradually descends to the foot of a challenging hill at mile number 8. This hill looks somewhat formidable, but it is only a quarter mile in length and there are some extended downhills coming for the next three miles or so after it. On the right, in the location of water station number 4, this is at about mile 8.4 on the course. Next, still on 6th Street at about 8.75 miles, runners will encounter a slight downhill and then slight uphill as they approach the Liberty Mutual Insurance Campus on the right at mile number 9. After going through a traffic light, we are pretty much back into city streets at this point. Runners will turn left onto Glenwood Avenue. There is a slight downhill here. Across the Spalding Turnpike in mile marker number 10 on Glenwood. Just two tenths of a mile later, runners will turn right onto Horn Street. We're almost at the home stretch now. Runners can begin to imagine the site of the church steeple and the finish line as they run down Horn Street. There is a fifth and final water station at the Horn Street School, mile number 10.4, for anyone who needs some more hydration in these final miles. At the end of Horn Street, runners will turn left back onto 6th Street and shortly afterwards pass mile number 11. Next is a right turn onto Grove Street, mile 11.2, with a short uphill, then level street, through a stop sign, and then a right turn onto 4th Street at mile 11.3. Continuing on 4th, there is a slight downhill, then runners cross the Cachico River again, followed by a slight uphill. Then slight down, then slide up again to the intersection with Washington Street. Runners will turn left onto Washington Street at mile 11.9 and then pass mile number 12 on Washington Street. Runners are now retracing a short section of the race course as they proceed to the finish line. When they get to Arch Street, they will bear left, staying on Washington Street, following the direction given by the Dover police about when to cross over to the right side of Washington Street. Runners are now only 0.8 miles to the finish after the Bank of America branch and before the Citizens Bank branch. Runners will turn right onto Atkinson Street. Atkinson has an uphill section for about one-tenth of a mile. Then runners will turn left onto Nelson Street and pass mile number 13. At the end of Nelson, runners take a left onto Locust Street, then an immediate right onto Church Street. The finish line is only a short 40 yards or so now on Church Street. Here is the finish. Congratulations to all runners in advance for taking the Cochica Challenge and running this amazing course. The award ceremony and after-race food provided will make it worth the run.